Well, hello there. I'm the Ranger, and today I want to show you an update on my bushcraft camp. Uh, so far, the only thing I have done is rearrange this tarp so some of the water would drain off and not spill right here. So I come out here. This is the only area that had a lot of water stain or a lot of water dripping, and it's destroying the, the ground. So. Hello, I'm the Ranger, and don't forget, I'm a fictional character for this channel. So anything I say can be fictional in your own mind. Thank you, and hope you enjoy the show. Um, I don't know if I'm going to make this an A-frame or what or leave it on the ground and I have my two mats and a mosquito net I'm going to put over here so far nothing has changed I'm not starting any fires until it gets colder it's too hot to be cooking but when it does get cold I will start showing you different methods of how to start a fire now I went to a place and I found some Spanish moss and I want to show you this is for my bedding I'm going to use Spanish moss as my bedding but I got a big problem there's a lot of critters in there didn't know some sometimes you get no critters critters then you get thousands of critters. One bag is nothing but spiders. Spiders galore. So I have to fumigate all three of these bags of Spanish moss. And this is what I'm going to use for my bedding. Now I thought about leaving it in the bag. You know, lay it on, lay it on, the, on the ground and flatten it up as much. But there's holes in these bags. And spiders do get out of these little crevices little holes and crawl all over you so I can't use this until I fumigate them and I guess I gotta leave them out here until I get some fumigators and fumigate all three bags so it'll be more protective make sure it has no critters crawling on me when I'm sleeping having spiders and bugs going in your nose ears and maybe your mouth is not a good thing so I have to fumigate that. Now I can just grab leaves and moss and put it over here as my bedding. I do got a little hole here. I do got to fill up. I do need to bring a bucket of mud so I can have my fire pit complete. I might build it a little bigger. And I brought some pots and pans. That's going to stay out here. And uh, the first week. I'll just go ahead and do an update on this. The first week I found this place, I came through here. Came through here and I found this place. And the first day I brought is a couple sticks and made those tables. The second day I was out here, I made the bush chair. Then the third day, I made the A-frame. The fourth day, I made the bushcraft canvas tarp. And if you need to learn how to make one of these canvas tarps, I'm letting you know it's not waterproof. But if you have it tarped real tight, it's going to be just like the millet, the Civil War uh, tents back in the day. That's why how I built this. I built it just like Civil War tarps. And I only got two buckets, one full of bottled waters because it's hot out here. And the other one's to, to carry stuff like mud, dirt, whatever I need to bring in that bucket. So basically that, this is all I always bring. I bring my my K knife, my saw, and this is all the rope I use so far out of one spool. Since I created the bushcraft camp, but this is all the rope I use, and this is what's left out of that spool you get it from Walmart. 
Now, I had those pieces of wood over here. That was a good betty. And if you do it right, you can have these right between your shoulder blades. And it was kind of comfortable if you get it in the, in the right spot. And we'll put those back over there after I get the Spanish moth cured. A few things I've learned I wish I'd done at my house instead of bringing it out here and realized these got critters in it. I should have put it in a big pool of water and drown whatever was in it. Then take the Spanish moth and just lay it on the ground and let it dry. Then roll it up and put it back in the bag and bring it out here and use as for my bedding. Alright, I'm the Ranger. Don't forget to like, share, and comment. They do help. Uh, this video is for Manland Oso. Where's your bush chair? Or your bush table? Or your bush fire pit? Alright, see you next video. And one more thing, if you want me to do a bushcrafting skill, let me know in the comments below. Any type of skill or building something that you'd like to see me build out here in my little bushcraft camp, let me know below. It's easy to do, it only takes five seconds. Get it,